we have just arrived here at uh, Grayland uh, Beach. Uh, I was gonna say Grayland Beach Resort, but it's actually not a resort. We're all the way to the west of uh, Washington State right now, and we are gonna take you guys on a clamming adventure. Today, we are gonna take you guys on an adventure to the western side of Washington to catch some of these highly sought razor clams. And as an added bonus, we're gonna show you guys how we catch, clean, and cook these razor clams so we can turn them from this to this. So let's go. Ready for this? Yes. For um, how many times? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first things first, you're gonna need a razor clam gun. This one specifically we got from Walmart, and I think this is about 50, maybe $60 a piece. And you're also gonna need something to put your clams in, and you're technically by regs required to have one uh, container for each person. And also, you can choose to wear uh, some waders, but today we're not gonna be wearing some waders. Rain, rain boots. <laughs> so, <laughs> Kay's got some rain boots uh, and I just have my regular waterproof hiking boots and that's pretty much it. Razor clamming is actually pretty easy to do. Uh, one of the biggest things that you want to keep in mind is you always want to shoot for the lowest tide and the good thing about this activity is the Washington Fish and Wildlife Division uh, does have the schedule on their website and you definitely want to make sure to check out their website first before you head out to the clamming spots. Right now we are at the Grayland Beach uh, here at the western side of Washington and there's the water right there uh, and there's actually the Pacific Ocean right there. Pretty wide open. Uh, it's still kind of chilly right now. It is about 50 degrees but we are definitely excited to go clamming. All right and let's head on out. And there's actually already quite a bit of folks down there and you can actually drive on uh, the beach itself they just recommend not to drive on the right hand side where the clams are there's a bunch of folks down there and then on the right hand side where the water is uh, there's not so many folks uh, parked and there's a couple of folks uh, down there already clamming and this view is amazing just Check that out. So we are about to witness one of the best uh, sunsets here in uh, Washington. The sun's getting ready to set right now. I don't know why there's not a whole lot of folks uh, clamming right in this area, but this green stuff right here, and I know it's kind of hard to see from the camera, is pretty much what the clams like to eat. So we are right here standing on a bed of pretty much what they eat. So if I'm not mistaken, there should be a lot of razor clams around this area. The first time you're, you're gonna go out razor clamming, it's pretty hard to tell which holes are for razor clams and which holes are for uh, sand trips. But uh, we're gonna show you guys how to look for it here in a little bit. And as a matter of fact, uh, Kay, is trying to find a couple of dimples right now. I just want to kind of quickly show you guys what the wrong hole looks like. So this is a uh, sand trim pole right there. And you can kind of see it because it actually kind of mounts up a little bit. So this is not what you're looking for. Uh, again, this is for uh, sand trim. But uh, I guess if you guys are trying to shoot for a uh, sand trim, uh, you can definitely get sand shrimp if you find this hole right here. Finally found a uh, razor clam hole. So this is what it looks like. So it's very slight and it, it's almost kind of hard to see them during the daylight because they're very mild. And so I'm just gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Look at that. So that it looks kind of like a crater right there. And that's what you're shooting for. Our first hole. We'll see. Uh. Okay, just finally got her first clam. And now, that's 
a razor claim. And then now, she's gonna go ahead and try to dig this one hole right there. And this clam gun is actually pretty easy to use. Uh, a lot of people, what they try to do is they, they try to dig straight down. All you need to do really is let gravity work for you. And so you just need to kind of shake it while you're pushing it down a little bit and then pull up. And typically around these areas, by the time you dig about maybe two times, three times almost, you'll typically see the uh, razor clam. There you go. There you That's go. Look at that. <laughs> Nice. Second clam. <laughs> razor clam. All right, so we're razor clam number two on to number three. Okay, just found another one. Here's another look of what the hole should look like. So once again, it's a very mild uh, dimple on the sand. And check it. Let's see how big this is. There's water. No. Oh. Here it is, razor clam number three <laughs> in the bucket. Look, another one. Ooh, look at that. So there's another one right there. It's a little bit of different uh, hole right there. It doesn't look yeah, it's working, like it's working, a crater, it's but it, it's actually kind of boiling up. Oh. And pull. Cool. Okay, just found another hole. Hey, you. Like I said, uh, you just want to kind of go ahead and uh, let gravity work for you. Kind of just kind of shake the handle and then pull up with your leg. Definitely not with your back. <laughs> About uh, maybe two or three digs should be able to. <laughs> and so a lot of times too what you can do is you can is you can kind of stomp the ground with your uh, razor clam gun or you can also use your feet as well. Okay, just hit the ground with the uh, razor clam gun and she just found a couple of holes show up. Kind of stump your feet like that. Try to see if you can see some holes show up or dimples rather. Other one over there too. And there's another one right there. Oh, I didn't... So, it's actually, ooh! Oh, it's just right there, look! One big! Nice! Try this one too. It's one big. It's actually this one too. Oh, wow! So just about one dig oh, each. Yeah. yeah, wow, that's actually a pretty good size right there, look! That's awesome! Look at that! In the bucket! Gonna try to hit the uh, the ground, see if it shows up. Oh wait, so there you go. There's a small hole right I'm, there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it. All right, hit the ground. That's it. There you go. Ooh, there you go. See it? You can kind of see it boil. Look at that. So so far, uh, Kay's got five razor clams, but man, just check out that view. Such a nice view. The sun's about to come down. There's actually not too bad of a crowd right here, uh, right now. So there's a bunch of uh, folks down there and there's also quite a bit of folks uh, behind me as well. All right, so definitely a rookie mistake. Coming here with just uh, regular boots because this water keeps coming back, obviously, because we're in the ocean. Good thing is Kay's <laughs> wearing her boots so she can kind of kind of stay in the water for a little bit. Well, so it finally happened. My boots are wet. 
and I'm not talking about the outside, <laughs> the inside, so. And that, ooh, there you go. Nice, man. Look at that. Razor clam. Oh, check this out. So this is definitely a razor clam right here. <laughs> That's a big crater. getting chilly but man check out that sunset right behind me so without a doubt this is one of the best sunsets we've ever seen. And just like that, we are home. So today we are gonna show you guys how to clean these razor clams and then also make a couple of dishes. Uh, one is gonna be a uh, sauteed uh, razor clams in soy sauce and then also make some sashimi. First, I'm going to show you the easiest way on how to clean razor clam. First, we need to boil the water to remove this uh, shell, the razor clam shell. Now the water is boiling, let's get started. First, we need cold water. Put the razor clam in the boiling water for 5 seconds. As you can see, the razor clam shell came off quickly. Here it is. Now we're gonna need scissors to clean the clam properly. But this is probably the most uh, challenging part of all this is cleaning the razor clams. You're gonna cut to the outside all the way to the neck. And there are two holes in there. You need to cut them both. Just like that and here you go. As you can see, there's a lot of sand inside the neck. Look. Don't forget to check over here, to check this side. There's a lot of sand hiding in there. Then 
done cleaning, it's time to slice the ingredients. These are the ingredients. Onions. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. <laughs> there you go. Lemongrass. Indian chili. Spring onions. Chili. Garlic. And perilla leaves. It's only an optional ingredient. You can also use what? Basil, right? Yeah, you can also use um, basil. It does bring out a lot of flavors. Yeah. Lemongrass smells so good. Onions got you? Yeah. Don't cry, don't cry. I'm going to cut for the sashimi first. Remove this first. So you can use it for the saute later. Remove this one. Cut it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try one of the uh, sashimi pieces out. So check this out. Mm. Let me tell you, this thing, it's uh, naturally salted, very clean tasting, I like it. And typically you wanna use a little bit of soy sauce, uh, you can even use a little bit of lime. It's definitely up to you. This sashimi is looking very good. This is for the saute razor blend. For the sauce, I'm gonna use butter and a little bit oil later. Oyster soy sauce, sriracha, spicy chili, <laughs> chili powder, black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and start cooking. First, lemongrass. So just a quick pro tip, uh, so the lemongrass is actually pretty typically tough to cook and so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you want to kind of wait for it until it kind of browns a little bit and you want to use about a medium, medium high heat for this process. Next, garlic, onions. Gonna add butter. And of course, if you guys don't like uh, spicy food, definitely don't add a chili. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Kay's gonna be adding a little bit more uh, red peppers to make it just a little bit more spicy. And Kay's putting in the sriracha now. Man, I'm hoping that you guys can smell this, but it's smelling very good right now. Very aromatic. This is optional if you want um, a little bit sweet. Before you put your razor clam in here, make sure to put your stove on a high heat. Last but not the least ingredients, perilla and spring onions. You wanna taste it? Sure. All right. Very tasty. I think this is by far the best recipe for razor clams. And just like that, our razor clam recipe is done. Check this out. It's really good. Very tasty. Very tasty. Highly recommended. Time to try the razor clam sashimi. 
I basically just uh, ended up using a uh, regular soy sauce and uh, some wasabi for our sauce. Really good. If earlier was an indicator, I think I'm gonna like this even more. <laughs> <laughs> so soft. Very clean tasting. It's got a very interesting texture, but if you like sashimi, I think you're gonna like this. One more bite. Oh. That wasabi got me. So that is the end of our catch, clean, and cook video for today. Please click the thumbs up button to like the video. Consider subscribing if you like content like this. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.